As we reflect on Veterans Day, we honor those who are on the front lines fighting to keep us safe, many of whom are women. As we know, one of the branches of the U.S. Armed Forces is the Navy, but it wasn't until 1993 when Congress approved to allow women to, to serve on combat ships. Prior to that, women had only been allowed certain positions. News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona spoke with a retired Navy captain who was essential during the Cold War era. This one is from a place called Broady Wales. Retired Navy Captain Kim Drury is showing us one of several recognitions she received during the 25 years she served in the Navy. Among them, a U.S. dollar coin given to her by Lord Perry Pembershore from Wales. While I was in Wales, it's kind of neat. This little thing here doesn't seem like much, but he gave me this and it was given to him from Carter. Jimmy Carter, and he wanted me to have it because I was the first woman to be in the position I was in over there. She was among a small group of women when she enlisted in 1978 at 23 years old. At that point in time, the women couldn't go on ships. You know, I was a little ahead of that wave, so I didn't have that opportunity. You had limited jobs. Um, you know, you were, I won't say stereotype, but you were pigeoned into certain jobs. Right then, we were 2% of the Navy. That was all for women. The number of officers was even less. She began as an anti-submarine warfare officer. Our goal was to track Russian submarines. And I did that uh, for a number of years. And when you're in that field, you're in very remote locations. Eventually, her management skills moved her up the ranks to captain. This picture right here was given to me as I participated in the commissioning of a city. During the ceremony, she recalls meeting Queen Elizabeth II. I literally got introduced to her, uh -huh. and that was um, a political challenge in that the military typically does a bow to the queen, but I'm female, so you should do a curtsy. After some discussion with the British military, it was agreed she would represent the uniform and do a bow. I think part of that is they knew I didn't curtsy well, so we just <laughs> went with the bow. Among the places she was stationed was Croatia an experience that left her with some of the best memories. I was the U.S. military liaison to the Croatian military, and I had a team of five guys, and we, our goal there was to transition them towards NATO membership. It's been 16 years since she retired, and as we honor our veterans, the 64-year-old reflects on those who can't be with their families today. I think of the kids today, and it chokes me up. I, I, it hurts me for people to thank me for my service, and they don't get the opportunity to get thanked because they're over there right now. It's about the people who have to be out front. You know, you really need to thank the people who are right out front. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. Brave lady. Yes. I know. What a and, story. And paving way for so many women mm -hmm. after her, which is so great. I love the story about meeting the queen. Oh, yes, yeah. that's what, great. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs>